We're going to go live. Yeah. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد Brothers and sisters, this is your brother here, Muhammad Awad from Islamic Relief welcoming you to today's beautiful, beautiful webinar Jazakum Allah Khair for tuning in with us the whole month of Ramadan every day we're learning something and every day we're giving and we're helping bi-ithnillahi rabbil alameen. We have our Imam Suhaib Webb, the online, the founder of the online institute Swiss, which I recommend everybody to go check out, inshallah. And uh, we're just going to have a little chat with him uh, before we go into uh, our session for today, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam rahmatullah imam. How's everything? How's everything going? Alhamdulillah, man. Alhamdulillah. Kafa harakum la alakum bi khair ya Muhammad. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Khair. Inshallah, you're having a good Ramadan in New York uh, and, and stay safe and healthy. And uh, we're khaifin alayk and khaifin ala everybody, uh, especially in that area. Alhamdulillah. I'm actually in DC right now, so, uh, but you know, khair. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So um, when I was in seventh grade, there was this kid, and uh, he was a really short, uh, small kid. He was younger than me. I think I was eighth grade, and he was in like seventh grade. And he was wearing a really big backpack full of books. And he used to say, Muhammad, please, you have to go to ICPC. Come pray at the masjid. Muhammad, uh, always, every day. And uh, one time I pushed his bag. And uh, he was a good kid, and I really liked him. We became good friends after. And he used to always tell me to go to the masjid all the time, especially this specific masjid that he loves so much. It's called ICPC Patterson by Sheikh Kaponani, New Jersey. And uh, you want to take a guess on who it is? It's either going to be Yasser Fahmi, Imran Saleh, or Usama. There you go. It's <laughs> Imran in the middle. So uh, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, Yasser is older than me. And uh, Imran, he's, the, he's the, the magic person that used to tell me to go to the masjid. Uh, Sheikh Hussam Masalhiya was with me in high school. He, uh, he used to give khutbahs, uh, mashallah, when we were in school. And he memorized the Quran in public school. But alhamdulillah, there's a good, uh, we had a good, nice crowd uh, that kept us you know, closer to Allah. It's a, it must be good there, man, in, in Patterson for all these young young guys to come out of there so talented and so so incredibly beneficial to the community subhanallah uh, i wanted to give really due credit to a sheikh uh, rahmatullah he passed away he was a very old sheikh and he stayed in the masjid most of the day his name was um sheikh hafil sheikh hafil was a really old pakistani uncle in the masjid all the time reading quran and he had the kids in a little circle and uh, these kids became uh, blossoms in the community one of them was uh, Dr. Imad Hamda, um, uh, my brother Murad, uh, Sheikh Usama, uh, brother Dliya Khamis, uh, brother Imran. He sat down with the Sheikh 
Subhanallah, and he hafadh them, many of them, the Quran. And uh, they changed their lives, and now they're changing communities. Allahu Akbar. Subhanallah. Uh, this is definitely a small world. We gotta have to yeah. give a call uh, to Arman and give him a, a nice chat. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we just brought him on. He's he's working with us now. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That's why I brought him up because I, I see him. Uh, he's very active online uh, with the institute and uh, giving the roost. Mashallah. Uh, I'm very familiar with his father. His father gives a, a halakha like or a khatira after Isha every. Uh, I think it's Tuesday. And then he's very linguistic in in al Arabi. So when Sheikh Qatanani yeah. looks and says we need a translator, and he and it's I'm like not me, not today, because it's hard to translate for Amran's father because his his look is so strong. Mashallah, had to I have to really prepare. <laughs> Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. But, but that's, um, the, that's the point, right? Like fruit doesn't cut thing, right? Like these things don't happen in a vacuum. And it's very similar to the work that Islamic Relief does, right? This work doesn't happen in a vacuum, mashallah. It's because people, whether behind the scenes or on the scenes, are working to make things happen. The good, the good land, what comes from the good land? It's like good fruit. So from good people, good efforts, mashallah, comes these things. And that's what makes Islamic Relief also very special, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, this whole time I was growing up, uh, Brother Walid was taking me with him to Masajid in Ramadan and outside of Ramadan, and I was always volunteering. Little did I know that three years ago I was going to get a job at Islamic Relief, and when I go to the Masjid and I say, what he took me to this Masjid eight years ago, five years ago, two years ago, and uh, subhanAllah, and it happened so many times and throughout the whole Northeast. And, uh, and it's a blessing that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was, was grooming me for a position before and I, that I didn't even know. SubhanAllah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, re- keep our intentions pure and then renew them uh, always. Because, uh, you know, this line of work, it's needed. So if you have any advice for this, to renew our intentions and to, to tell everybody on how to renew their intentions and how to give and to tell people to give too. Mm. Yeah, I mean, again, you know, as, as we said just a second ago, the, these efforts don't come out of a vacuum. Um, most of the time, they start with sincere intentions. Right? That the good intention is usually indicative of how uh, Imam Ibn Ta'Allah, he said, Man ashraqat nihayatuhu faqad ashraqat bidayatu. You know, who, whoever their ending is illuminated, it was because their beginning was illuminated. And he said, Rahimahullah, min aramat nujahi fi nihaya aruju'u ila lahi fi bidaya. That the sign of a successful ending is that you began, you started with Allah. Ibda'u bima bada Allah ta'ala bih. Start with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started. So sincerity is the most important thing, of course, when a person undertakes an action. And we know that sincerity doesn't come easy. Uh, in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Naml, وَإِنَّ لَكُمْ فِي الْأَنْعَامِ رَعِبَرَةً That indeed in the, cam, in the cow we have, for youth and عبر, and عبر actually means to travel. We say, you know, أَفْكَارْ تَمْشِي عَبْرَ tariq, Right, these ideas traveled across time. So عَبْرَ means to, to cross something, to, to, to move beyond it. And, and the عِبْرَة is something that crosses from what you've learned into your mind, into your heart, into your actions. That's why it's called Ibra. So this Ibra, alhamdulillah, uh, is in Surah An-Namal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِنَّ وإن لَكُمْ فِي الْأَنْعَامِ لَعِبْرَةً نُسْقِيقُمْ مِمَا فِي بُطُونِهَا We provide you drink from what came from the, the, between, in the belly of this cow, between دَمْ وَفَرْثِ Between blood and feces came what? لَبَنًا خَالِصًا Pure milk. One of my teachers from Al Ibn Yemen, he used to say that this is the ikhlas, that ikhlas has to come through the blood and feces of life. So when we look at the great efforts of like Patterson and other communities, and we see uh, the fruit, وَالْبَلَدُ الطَّيِّبُ يَخْرُجُ نَبَاتُهُ بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِ As Allah says in Surah Al-A'raf, the good land produces good fruit. When, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about the dua, and that's the second thing, is making dua. So after sincerity, is dua. 
turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for tawfiq. Dua mukhl ibadah. You know, dua is the foundation of worship. Over and over the same, make dua, make dua, make dua. So we see that when the mother of Maryam, alayhi salam, when she made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless her child, Allah says that she grew wonderfully. So sincerity and then dua. We see that with the Sahaba, رضوان الله عليهم, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, كَزَرْعٍ أَخْرَجَ شَطَأُهُ فَأَزَرَهُ فَاسْتَغْرَدَ فَاسْتَوَى عَلَى سُقِي They grew slowly and slowly and slowly. And subhanAllah, the believer, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions that the first point of bringing fruit is our sincerity. أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ دَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا كَلِمَةً طَيِّبَةً كَشَجَرَةً طَيِّبَةً أَصْلُهَا ثَابِتٌ وَفَرْعُهَا فِي السَّمَاءِ Right, that the foundation of the tree is la ilaha illallah, and that its root is strong, and the root is the heart of the believer. Subhanallah. Al mishkatu fihi zujaja. Right, so this verse in Surah Al-Nur is talking about the heart of the believer, and inside the heart is the zujaja, is the light of ikhlas. So between feces and 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 difficulties and hardships comes ikhlas, and then we couple that with dua. And then the third is we make we work hard and we sacrifice. We yuthiruna ala anfusihim. وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصَةً To sacrifice, to sacrifice and to make effort. And when that happens, then we lead into group work and critical mass. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, you know, وَاَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْرِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Be together, stick together. تَلْهَبَ رِيحُكُمْ فَاسْبِرُوا If you get weak, your strength will leave you. Now we see the Muslims, we are divided so easily, so quickly. We don't value our deen, so we don't value our unity. We don't value one another. So it's important to have critical mass. Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab used to say, La Islam illa bil jama'ah. Right? There's no Islam without work, without a, without critical mass. And then that brings the blessing. And that blessing will, will inshallah, be in the next life for sure, and maybe in this next life, in, in this life. So mashallah, when we look at the work of what Islamic Relief is doing, and we make a sincere effort to donate to others, and to support others, and to look after the, the fuqara, the underserved and, and those who are vulnerable to challenges. We see all of these components are there, inshallah, sincerity, dua, group work. And I think it's so important to support this work because this is how we save ourselves from hellfire because we do something which transcends this life. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Sultan Kaf about this righteous man and his kids, because he was righteous, Allah protected him. In Surah Al-Tur, Allah mentions parents in Jannah who will be united with their children or children who will be united with their parents who didn't, didn't live the same quality of life when it came to taqwa. But because of the sincerity of one, it will help the others. Those who believe in their children follow them. We will unite them together, mashallah, in paradise. So alhamdulillah. I think as we talk about sincerity and ikhlas, it's very important that we think about being charitable, being willing to make a sacrifice, al jazam and jins al-amal, right? The reward is based on the sacrifice. So I really want to encourage everyone, as the Prophet ﷺ said, because it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality, the, the quality of sincerity. Niyyatul mu'mini khayru min amali, right? The, the, the intention of the believer is better than his or her action. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتُ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا Who created death and life to see which one, so you will know which one of you is best in doing good deeds. He didn't say أَكْثَرَ عَمَلًا. He said أَحْسَنَ عَمَلًا. وَلَا تُجَادِلُوا أَهْلَ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا بِالَّتِي هِي أَحْسَنُ He didn't say إِلَّا بِالَّتِي هِي أَكْثَرَ أَحْسَنُ So oftentimes a person may do a small deed, but the sincerity they have moves mountains and changes the world and somebody may do a lot of things without sincerity and subhanallah it doesn't bring the same reward so that's why the prophet said right protect yourself from hellfire even if it's the the stock of the date seed so alhamdulillah as i finish inshallah i'm going to turn it back over to our brother muhammad and be muhammad um 
you know, this is a great time to be sincere, to sacrifice, to work as a group, and to use the charitable vehicle, Islamic Relief, to really make some profound donations to support people who are underserved and forgotten, inshallah. Barakallah Fiq, Imam Suhaid, Jazakallah Khair for all your efforts. Right now, we're going to cue the video. Everybody stay tuned. This is very, very important. Watch the video. I'll be right back. We all want the best for the children in our lives. A happy home, good health, a steady education, and a safe space to grow and play. However, for millions of children across the globe, this is simply a dream. Right now, an estimated 140 million children worldwide are living as orphans, having lost one or both parents. Fleeing disaster, conflict, and battling poverty, childhood dreams have been turned into a struggle for survival. Children such as Farooq from Bangladesh know this reality all too well. What are you with no father at home, Farooq's life has become even harder. Poverty and insecurity are now his daily reality. However, there is hope. By sponsoring an orphan child with Islamic Relief, you can provide these precious children with an education, shelter, and hope for a brighter future. <laughs> Farooq dreams of a better future. Will you help him achieve this? Our orphan sponsorship program is designed to support not only one child at a time, but the entire family. Your donations fund critical cash grants, which allow families to rebuild their own sense of independence and ensures that every orphan has access to the basic necessities they need to improve their health and educational and social development. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, said, The one who cares for an orphan and myself will be together in paradise like this, holding up his index and middle fingers. Here at Islamic Relief, we are currently supporting over 62,000 orphans worldwide as a family. But we can't stop there. By donating to Islamic Relief, you can transform the lives of children like Farooq and many, many more. Your donations will provide crucial care, including schooling, food, and medical care. Islamic Relief's orphan sponsorships pave the road for orphans to one day be self-sufficient. Help them reach for the stars and lighten up their future. Sponsor an orphan today with Islamic Relief. Islamic Relief USA, working together for a better world. Assalamu alaikum, everybody. You saw the video. You know what's happening across the world, not just in our backyards, but everywhere. The countries that had problems, that had issues, that were war torn, economic difficulties, earthquakes, tsunamis, wars. All that was before Corona, and Corona just made it worse. So what I want everybody to know is that there's an Ahmed in Afghanistan that you sponsored. There's an Alina in Pakistan that's a doctor now because you sponsored her and we know her sponsors. Imagine, there's a Muhammad in Gaza and Palestine. You have Yemen, you have Syria. You have our brothers and sisters in Myanmar and Bangladesh and India. All the orphans, 62,000 orphans are because of you. Because of you. So right now I'm calling everybody and I know you can do this. We can help raise 20 orphans right now, 30 orphans right now. I want you right now to text IRUSA to 50155 and go to IRUSA.org slash give. That's IRUSA.org slash give. Go to orphan sponsorships, choose an orphan and give it every month. Or just give it right now because tomorrow night might be Layat al Qadr. The 27th night, Tuesday night, might be Layat al Qadr. And we know that Laylatul Qadri Khairun min al Fisham. The night of power is greater than 1,000 months. So if you sponsor an orphan that night or any of these 10 nights, 
Maybe it's worth 1,000 orphans of giving. So give now, give today, give tomorrow, and keep giving before Ramadan is over. Because we are not promised an extra Ramadan. We are not promised an extra Ramadan. And wallahi, brothers and sisters, we're not taking anything to our graves from our money. This is the right time to invest. Because it's just paper right now. But if we invest it now and help now, it's our sadaqa jariya today. They're going to make dua for us. Alina in Pakistan is making dua for you. Ahmed in Somalia is making dua for you. The kids in Gaza are making dua for you. Sponsor an orphan today before it's too late. Like I say all the time, donate before it's too late. This is your brother Muhammad Awad with Islamic Relief. One more time, irusa.org slash give. Text IRUSA to 51155. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tune in next time. Assalamu alaikum.